There are new warnings tonight in Jefferson County, where officials fear that lakes, ponds, creeks, and bayous will overflow and send water into the homes and businesses. Chris Williams is in Pine Bluff tonight and shows us the concern there for low-lying areas. Areas east of University and north of Poland, like here at Lake Saracene, have experienced backwater rising. Saturday's aerial flood warning issued does not require action. It's a warning to be prepared. The Thomas family is preparing and praying, and they're seeing results. I'm not easy to scare. 14 years on University Drive. Belief in God, and uh, I just I go, from, go with that. Water has never entered Thomas Grocery and Gift Store. The county dropped off a load of sand and bags. This is a first. A delivery this family owned shop never expected to need. My wife and I, we work real hard to get this, this business open and going. And we're going to work even harder to make sure we can keep it. Clyde and Sammy Thomas were joined by a handful of family members who jumped in after passing by and seeing the activity. I'm concerned, but not afraid. I guess uh, I have a concern, yes. Well, why aren't you afraid? Well, I trust in God. <laughs> you know, it's just, I just trust in God that everything will be okay, you know? I don't have no problem with hard work. Clyde's faith is in himself. Because I feel like that's the only way you're going to get anything. You're going to have to work hard. As the day grew hot and long, strangers joined the crew. We got plenty of family now. And the snaking sandbag barrier transformed, hugging the entire store. Earlier you told me that you had that you just had faith that God was going to help you out. Yes, I did. And he did, didn't he? <laughs> yes, I have faith. I have plenty of faith. In Pine Bluff, Chris Williams. I have faith. <laughs> Thank you. God is good, isn't he? THV 11.